Well, hello guys. Welcome back. I look afraid, I know, but we went back out into the garage. Why? I don't know. I guess it seemed like a good idea. I found a treasure trove of books, only about a quarter of which you see behind me. I found this from 71. Oh my god, let's let's read what witches practice as witchcraft in 71, shall we? I'm of I'm of, of age, my dears. Personally, I find the whole idea of sacrificing chickens and crucifying toads upside down abysmal. This is an actual book on witchcraft from 71. The very thought of sipping warm, fresh goat's blood from a chalice makes my tongue quiver. Squeamish and city bred, I and many others, I suspect, could not deal with these and other important rituals in true black witchcraft ceremony. <laughs> okay. I'm not so sure that many people could handle midnight coffin meetings in remote cemeteries or a vision of a sabbat goat rising from a flaming altar either. <laughs> they had some great trucks back then, let me tell you. If you're into black magic, you're a very brave, inured person, and, some psychiatrists say, psychotic. In cultures where black ceremonies are part of everyday religious ritual, it is perfectly normal to deal with devils and conjure evil spirits in our own Western culture. However, only the offbeat dare to call up the evil Lucifer. Knowing that devils here are not only widely frowned on, but thought to be real only by persons with psychopathic imaginations. And that, my dear boys and girls, is what passed for magic in the 1970s. Thankfully, it is not a Gavin Frost book, which is even worse, but there is um, a part in the back that te teaches you how to do harmful magic, how to hurt people. So it's kind of Gavin Frost witchcraft. And I'm looking at the books, and keep in mind, I've had one or two strokes. And I can't, for the life of me, think of my mom having a book on witchcraft. So either my mom had this, and she was a witch before me. It was a combination of her books and my books, or just a random collection of books made its way outside. It boggles one's imagination, because 71 is before I was born. I have no idea. As I go through these books, I will let you guys know. I don't know where these came from. The mysterious book of witchcraft that just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> So there you go, if if you want something very peculiar and probably filled by LSD, the Modern Witches spell book. It's, it's all that and a box of biscuits. I thought maybe you guys could do with some light entertainment today, so yeah. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.